Hey there everybody, welcome back to the RC Garage. Before we get into today's video, I'd like to say thank you for all the support you've been showing the channel. If you haven't already, then hit that like button and please subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot. Today we're going to be working on the Summit. We're going to be putting my custom chassis protector from RCDecals.com. Those guys are great. They do really good work. Anything you can email to them, pretty much, they can print onto the chassis protector. And a lot of times it doesn't cost anything extra to have that done. And the chassis protector is the exact same one as I have on the Slash. Same thickness, got the same clear coat that they use. And again, that clear coat is the same clear that they put over the uh, motocross decals. I'll have a link to the Slash chassis protector review. That way you can see just how much damage it can take. Y'all really need to check these guys out. They do awesome work. They make an awesome product. They also make vinyl wraps for the bodies. But I'll have a link to their website in the description below. Alright, the first thing you want to do is you want to wipe everything down really good. Get all the dirt and everything off. That way you get the most adhesion on the plastic. One thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove this little decal here that way it doesn't affect anything now for the summit's chassis protector there's only a couple things you'll need to remove before you put it on. And there's four small circle cutouts that are for these four holes here. And there you go. Those four holes are removed now. And now to applying. Just like with a slash and a stampede, these things are pressure sensitive. It takes a little while for the adhesion to really, really cure on there. So you can remove it if you get it a little crooked.
I like to use this little roller. It's just a simple little wallpaper seam roller. Just a hard plastic roller. That way you can really push down on these edges and get them down good and tight. Because that's going to be where the biggest issues you're going to have with any kind of adhesion is on these edges. You want to make sure your edges are good and sealed. Now for the battery door. Alright, one side's all finished. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the other side off camera. It's the exact same process of putting this side on. So I'll bring you back to show you the finished product. Alright, here it is all finished up now. You got both sides done. Nice and easy install. And one nice thing about the Summit is that the fact when you close these battery lids, you can still see the decal even under the body it's a good thing having my logos on the sides like this so that when you're out running you can still show off your logo or your race number or anything you want to put on there so if you guys want to add a nice custom touch to your vehicles then head on over to rcdecals.com and check them out like I said they can pretty much print anything on the decals a lot of times it won't cost you anything extra so shoot them a message with your ideas but that's going to be it for today guys. It's going to be kind of short. Got to get ready for the G6 coming up this weekend. So if you like this video then let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to see more then please subscribe. And make sure to join me back here next Thursday. See you guys next time.